Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today is the day we are making the famous chapati. So, my wife and I, please hello. say hello. Hi, guys. Hey, uh, chapati, I promised, I think, three weeks ago, uh, we'll be cooking chapati. So, I am not an expert. My wife is an expert of chapati. So, we'll be going step by step on how to cook chapati from the beginning to the end. So, She's going to be explaining to us the first thing we need to do. The first thing we need to do, uh, let me make sure this light right there. That looks much better. Let's look. Yes. There you go. Much better. You don't need a light. So, process number one what do we need to do? Uh, we're going to get to the ingredients and we can start over here. All right then. So, she got boiling water right there. And next, and, uh, on this side, I do have the flour. So this is the flour, all-purpose flour, um, and bleached. There you go. And that is the flour inside there, of flour. And then, uh, and then this is this? the mixing bowl. This is the mixing bowl. And this is the measuring cup that I'm gonna use to measure the flour. Okay. So yeah. how do you know? Um, oh, this. It depends on how many uh, chapatis you want to make or? Yeah, it depends on how many chapatis I want to make. So like this one, one of these, how many chapatis can you make with one scoop? Uh, one scoop will be maybe two chapatis. Okay. Yeah. All right. So tonight uh, you plan to make how many chapatis? Uh, between 14 and 16. All right, just now for the family for dinner. Yeah. Great. Uh, next, we have two other equipment right here. So this, I'm just going to be using this to mix the, the flour yes. with the salt. And I'm going to use this too, so you guys are going to see how I use that. All right. And then that's and cooking. This is the salt yeah. right there. And then this is oil. Cooking oil. Yeah. And this is also oil. Yeah. Cook. So on the ingredient uh, part, yes. Uh, there are so many ways of making chapatis. There are so many kinds of chapatis. It depends on how you like yours. Yes. I like mine the traditional way with just salt, oil and water, and the flour. But okay. if you want, you can make butternut chapatis, you can make uh, carrot chapatis and stuff. Yes. But I like mine simple and traditional. Um, before, when I was growing up, I've seen people make chapati, but I never saw people boil water for chapati. So, why boil water? Uh, so that's how I was taught how to make the chapatis and the main reason for that is to make sure that your chapatis don't get hard. Oh, okay. They will always be soft. All right. Well, yeah. that's true. I've been enjoying soft chapatis. So, okay. What next uh, do we need to do? So we need to see it. So I'm going to start by One more question before yes. you. So why do you like making chapatis the traditional way? And I know you, you once bought that machine for mixing is it the door? I feel like Why don't you use it? I feel like it's not the same. So, but I, I still use the machine when I have to make lots of chapatis. It's from maybe 30, 50, 60. Sometimes when you get an order from people, I use the machine. So, but for the for our chapatis, I think it's too much work using the machine. And also I like using my hands for the most part. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Got it. All right. So let's see. So we are going to measure the flour since we said we are making... Uh, 14 to 16 chapatis. Okay. So we'll use eight cups of the flour. Oh, eight cups. So with That's one cup half. giving us like two chapatis. Ah, uh, for the bag. So number three. This is three. Number four, right there. Number five. I'm counting. Five. Number six. Number seven. seven. Number eight. Lastly, eight. All right. So that's eight scoops of flour. Yeah. And that takes how much water? Uh, this is gonna take five cups of hard boiling water. But before we get to the water, I'm gonna. Add some salt. Salt. This one depends Do you measure on that or you just... I don't measure, I just use my eyes too. Kenyejiwe. Kenyejiwe, yeah. All right. So, okay, let's see. Depends on, depends on how you like your chapatis, whether salty or not that much I just salty. for some reason, I've never tested 
any salt in your chapati so you just kind of sprinkle a little bit all right yeah some people put sugar too but oh. when you make chapatis with hard boiling water they already come out sweet so you don't need to add the sugar otherwise okay. they will taste like pancakes all right yeah so let's do this with my all right and how do you tell you have mixed everything because remember today i'm also learning how to make chapati so tomorrow, maybe next week, I will be doing the same process. I will try to make chapati for the family. That's how, I, guys, that's how I learned how to cook the rest of the stuff, you know, before I made an... Of course, I knew how to cook Kenyan ugali, but I wasn't that good in cooking goat meat. But now I am the best chef in the town cooking goat meat. So after mixing the salt, yes. I'm just assuming it's already mixed, but we still have to go a long way in mixing that. I'm going to add my oil, so for the uh, 8 cups of the flour, yes. I use half a cup of oil to mix the flour. So are you going to measure with, oh that's It's half. already measured, oh, this okay. is half a cup. That, oh, okay, so I'm I just going to add it in there. Okay, and I then see. after that, I'm wow. going to mix this up. I like using this to help me with the process, and I'll still use my hands at some point. So that little oil? Uh, we'll add more as we go. Okay. But this is good to start. All right. Uh, uh, coming from Gaither's back, uh, today, like I promised, we are making chapati. So my wife, she's teaching me on how to make chapati. And I want you guys to make chapati with me and her, so we can all learn how to make chapati. So let me zoom in again and see how the process is going on. All right. So after that, you're yes. supposed to use your hands to make sure you break the lumps. You see, like this one. Yeah. We need to break them completely. So you use your hands. So if you're making chapatis, you gotta make sure your hands are clean. Yes. And you're not touching other stuff. No makeup. Besides your ingredients. All right. Okay. We don't put makeup on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. So this is basically what I'm doing to make yes. sure that the oil is mixed with the flour completely. Okay. I know some people say flour, like yes. back in my country we say flour. Uh, uh, but if I say flour, the kids will make fun of me, so I say flour. Flour. Yeah. All right. It all depends on where you went to school anyway, right? Yeah. Whether it was the British system or the American system. True. Yeah. Uh, I think this right. is well mixed. So it's been seven minutes since we started. Then I'm gonna make um, a hole in the middle because I'm gonna be adding now my water. Oh, Another okay. five cups of water. Okay. I'm All gonna right. use the same measuring cup that On I used to measure the uh, flour. Yes. I'm gonna use this hand that I'm not currently using to okay. get the water from the stove. All right. Yeah, is the hard boiling water. See, it's boiling. Right. We transport this next to the flour. And I'm going to five cups. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. So that's five water. cups. Wow, it's overflowing, guys. Oh, man. This and I'm going to... Take my cooking. Um, okay. This Big spoon, call, the this wooden spoon. Yeah. Uh, they call it Mwiko. Those were cooking from, stick. Uh, Kenya. Somewhere. Or oh, cooking stick. Yeah. All so right. Mix this so it looks like a cooked ugali or something, you know. I think we are kind of like making ugali in our pot. Yeah. Look. Oh, man. Can you so see, since can the water the is uh, boiling, boiling it's, hard, it's you don't want to burn yourself. Yes. So it's recommended that you use the muiko for the uh, initial mixing or the cooking stick. Okay. I know some of you don't understand what a muiko is. This is the part I don't understand. This funny looking thing, how you're going to transform it and become a dough yes, and well, then make your part It's not going to take so many minutes. In 10 minutes, this will be ready for cooking. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm sure you get tired. I'm used to it because you guys love chapatis and I do this all the time. Oh my god. Some, sometimes I didn't know you go through all this. We just enjoy the chapati, but when I see the process, oh my god, it's taking see, time. I've taken like all the flour. Okay. For the most part. And now I'm not going to need 
guys drop your mm -hmm. comments let me know if you make chapat differently for those who know how to make chapati i know there are a few uh, people uh, who are watching us or will be watching this video who also know how to make chapat let us know how different your chapat process uh, whether you boil your water or you use cold water and whether you use your hands or you use machine so this is too hard so if you okay. don't like hard stuff then yeah. this will not be your way maybe you're gonna go the way other way people used to use cold water other people use lukewarm water but this is what i like so can you so, yes i'm gonna transfer this to our service oh, okay. so our service is clean because it makes it so easy to need okay so i'll transfer all the whole this thing here. right there all right guys and i'm gonna make sure i'm not gonna leave any flour in here i'll try my best wow look at that so this is it the boy is empty this. i'll transport it to the sink right there then i'm gonna rinse this hand the other one is still super clean i'm just gonna rinse it it's not like it's dirty but I just want to make sure it's clean then i turn off the border for you there you go i need a paper towel all right she needs paper towel right here i got it for her let's see what next now wow it's 11 minutes so you see how bad it looks process. by looking at this you'll be like are we gonna eat chapatis really but yes we will oh man looks like this process will take around 30 minutes so it's not easy to make chapatis. I'm man. busy explaining it to you guys, so I'm taking my sweet time. But oh, okay. it never takes me long. Oh, okay. Uh, in an hour, I can make chapatis, the 14 chapatis from this too. Okay. Wow. So for all, you're going to keep on pushing, man. This is a lot of labor here. Yeah. Looks like you got to have some it's strength. Not it's not that bad. To push that thing. So can I push it for you? Uh, not on this one. Oh. On the next one. So that will be tomorrow, right? Yeah. All right. All right, guys. I was trying to. Since you are watching. Help her. Tomorrow you are gonna go. With this, but uh, I'm sure she's afraid I'll mess it up. Wow. And Chapati we use, cooking. We use this to need. But you not get tired, right? Our fingers. As I said, I'm used to it. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I have a machine to use but you if don't I want, use the but I don't want to use the machine. All right. That's my wife explaining chapati making process. This will, will take like maximum seven minutes of kneading. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you call that process? Kneading. Okay. Oh my God. I don't think many people will be comfortable doing this, this they can use a machine too yeah and the machine takes probably around five minutes or yeah. or less but it also depends on uh the volume right yeah wow take a break no. I finish. oh my god this is a lot of work man Looks like I'll stop eating chapati if you have to go through this. I don't want you getting tired. Like to us, this. it's no big deal. Trust me. Yeah. Then I'm so, going to add like a teaspoon of oil. A teaspoon. Okay. And that's going to make it soft? It's going to make it smoother. Ah, look at that. Guys, look at that. Just one it's teaspoon of oil. The whole thing changed. It became more softer. not even stick in here it shouldn't stick as long as you got your ratios oh, okay good. you know remember i tried to make chapati and it backfired some years back and uh, make this chapati you know uh, she was explaining to me what to do and the whole thing backfired and i had to trash like a whole bag of flour because she was busy at work and I wanted to eat chapati and I didn't want to wait for her. So I decided today is my day to surprise her. But instead, 
the door surprised me <laughs> big time everything <laughs> everything ended up in a trash can i couldn't do it but i'm taking lessons so next time i will just watch my video and i'll make this chapati it's not next time it's tomorrow oh tomorrow oh I'm man i'm in trouble guys so now my wife she's gonna make sure i make this chapati tomorrow the same way she did it today oh my god look at that process let me show up. oh my god. this is not easy i think we need to have a meeting with the kids about chapati eating yeah. <laughs> If you have to go through this, we just come down. Chapati is ready. Come on, guys. We come running. But at the same time, I love making them. We start enjoying fighting for the last chapati. Yeah. We don't know what she goes through. To. It's not easy. This oh, should man. be done. Next, we are going to be cooking. Okay. This is it. Oh, you're not going to let it sit down for some minutes? Some people let it sit down for some minutes. Yes. Um... You don't necessarily have to do that, but uh, it's up to you. Yeah, how about, wanna, how about you, you do, do that and then else? you take a break, or you? Yes, you okay. So you prepare the other part. It's, yeah, it's perfectly fine. So okay. since I need to get the cooking pan ready, anything else that so I now, need, yes. I'll just leave it right here. All right. And if you have to let it sit, yes. Gonna make sure it doesn't stick. Even though mine there is no way it's gonna stick. You see how good it is. Wow! Look at that, guys. It doesn't stick anywhere. It won't stick on my hands. Wow. See? Wow, look at that. So the key to this yes. is the ratios. Okay. So if you don't have a big family or you're by yourself, yes. just uh, calculate the, like, the the ratios. Okay. And you're good to go. Alright. I need to It'll cover the, this with oil. Massage it. Massage it with oil. Oh wow, look at and that. I'll leave it here for a few minutes. Yes, Same I get way the chapati will be massaged in our stomach, right? There you go. Wow, so, alright. So we'll continue making chapati, guys. Uh, cook with us. Let's learn how to make chapati for my wife, Anne. And next time we'll be experts. Alright, guys, so now we are at our second stage. Uh, if you realize, some of our equipment disappeared and we have new equipment. This just showed up and this rolling stick showed up. We still have oil and we still have flour still there. Yes. So according to Anne, so if you want to take a break, you want to take a sip or coffee, tea, whatever you are doing or doing other things, uh, you cover this flour or duff with a plastic. Uh, you get one, two, three, finish what you are doing, then you come back and then uh, what's going to be the next stage? Uh, we'll show you now the next step. All right, so, so there. I'm gonna remove this. We, we don't remove. need this anymore. This took like uh, less than three minutes, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then, so, first thing when you get back to your flower. Yes. Or to your dough, sorry. Yes. You don't start working on it right away. You have to like knead it for like less than a minute to just make okay. sure it's okay. It's not gonna disappoint you. All it right. yeah. Sometimes they have um, air bubbles, so yes. we gotta get those out. All right. There you go, guys, and that is my wife showcasing her cook, chapati cooking skills in the US. So, since we don't need all this flour, I'm just yes. gonna put some on the side because we may need it when we are rolling and stuff. All right. So, just pour a little bit. All right. Sometimes I don't usually need it, but yes. sometimes I use it in defense. But when I got my ratios 100%. Okay. So, put that back. Right, guys, today it's a chapati cooking process. We are making chapati, and the trainer is my wife. And all right, hi, guys, let's keep watching. Let's keep so, watching. I'm gonna right have that into too. So, people are not gonna tell who you are without you. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, those who like me and wearing my hat, all right. So I got these two big circles. Oh, okay. So I see that too. There's that one. There's this and there's one. this one. So I'm going to start with the baby one. Okay, so the baby one. Let's so we're going to make a big circle. Yes. Oh. Okay. I can help push that one. 
I will show you how to it do it. That's not how you can roll it next time because you're gonna use paws. Okay. I know how you do right. this. So we're just gonna right. roll. This yes. one doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Okay. And then who we'll said chapajis have to be a circle? Can it be corners? Corner corner isn't just like my young says. Uh, well, traditional chapatis are round, so we can make squares today if you want. Or oh, whatever shape, right? Yeah. Alright. It still tastes the same. So I'm gonna roll All this right. all the way. And then oh, wow. Look at we'll that, make small guys. circles very soft. That's almost um fifteen. Can we cook inches. this one? We can cook the entire thing. Yes. Mm. It's big, All it's right, so you to... flip it. Yeah, then I just spread it out. Okay. And guys, you can see the thickness. I think that also uh, determines um, the size of the chapati. Whether it's going to be a skinny one or not skinny uh, one. Not necessarily. So oh. once, you, once you roll this into the big chapati that you have, yes. you're going to uh, sprinkle some oil. I normally use the brush to spread this out, yes. but for today I don't have time for that. So I'm gonna use my hands. Oh wow! Look my at hand that, can guys. be a nice brush too. And then for those who love layered chapatis, yes. now this is where you get your layers from. Oh, so okay. after you spread your oil like that, yes, you get the flour. You put tiny ah. bits, not a lot. This is just to make sure that you're gonna have layers on your chapatis. Just like that and then the next step will be now cutting your chapatis wow look at that i think that's good so that goes to our waist oh, no we're going to use chapati. it okay so give me one second i'm going to rinse my hand because of the flour before we start okay making. so guys um uh this is Mutua 3 uh, coming from uh, Dither's Back. Uh, today is the big day. We are learning how, how to make chapati. And the I'm the trainee. And the trainer is my wife. She's showing me how to cook chapati. Let's continue the process. I'll keep showing. There are so many ways now of making what I'm doing right here. You okay. can roll it okay. this way. If it's sticky, you can always use flour. So we are going to make a circle. Okay. Circle. Right there. Right. And this is it. You're making something like that. So that's one chapati right there. Yeah. All right. If you don't want it to dry so up. So basically, these this. are how many chapatis? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Yeah, because okay. this is the small one. Okay. Keep rolling. So the skinnier the the way you cut it, the smaller the chapati will be, right? Yeah, but it depends also with the thickness of this. But oh, I think okay. now I'm so used to making some a certain size okay so i can't go beyond that so All that's right. two that's two chapatis um, there guys if you feel like it's gonna take you forever before you make your chapatis yes because you don't want your dough to dry up what people do even though mine is not gonna we're not gonna take that route yes. you just get some oil and then just oh wow put it on top to just make sure they don't dry up All right. usually i don't do that guys i hope you are taking notes you are learning how to make chapati mm -hmm. Uh, for gentlemen, so you can learn how to make chapati for your family, for those who are families, and for those we without families, you can also make chapati for yourselves or for your friends. You know, let's continue with this class. Wow! So I got this six now. There. It's time to join all these pieces and make one. Oh. So that got swallowed by the big one. Yeah, this is okay. really a big one. So I'm going to work on this. So I'll yes. see you guys in maybe a minute or two so. with the other circles. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, we are done with cutting. So now let's see how many chapatis have been made. This. Let's count together, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and that baby one so you can count for yourself she said she was gonna make 14 chapatis yeah she got 14 and a half too close that's like a 99 out of 100 guys good job and thank you yeah all right so uh what next now so now we are gonna 
now make the real chapatis. Oh wow, now so, uh, it's time for chapati. Side, yes. We have a cooking pan. Yes, cooking pan. Already pans. on yeah, heat. Ready? Yes. Uh it's on medium heat cuz yes. you don't need a lot of heat to make chapatis otherwise yeah, they're guys. you're going to burn them. Yes. And this is where we are going to put the ready to go chapatis. Ready to go chapatis right there. So you prep there's a plate underneath and this is the spatula guys. So let's go back again to the dough. So I got let's one. Let's see now. So I usually use my the final hands, stage like, of chapati poke. Yeah, like this. Guys, for those who are joining now, two are Mutua three. Uh, support my channel. Uh, Mutua three uh, coming from Gaither's back. Guys, let's continue making chapati. I'll start rolling. If you want, you can add just a little bit of flour to make sure it doesn't stick. Most of the times, I never use the flour. Okay. So you just try to roll to make a circle. So now, please don't judge my circle. So it it's may not be perfect. so now you. Now this I'm determines rolling. the size of the chapati right now. Yeah. So the more I roll, the more the bigger the chapati gets. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh wow. It didn't take that long. No. You know, I thought it was going to take more than an hour, but. Uh, I, I'm actually sure. taking long because I'm showing you guys how to okay. do it. So there's hey, my guys, look at that. circle, not perfect. First chapati. Lost it, so it's Almost ready to go. Ready. I'll take it to the stove. I work with you guys. Let's see it. Let's put it up there. It's right there. And let's see. Let's watch the process. Let's see how long it will take. Uh, and. So while this one is cooking, I don't usually wait, but I yes. can wait for you, with you guys. Yes. Uh, I use this time to roll the next chapati. Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's go back. Let's while go we back. Up, As she... We'll come here and do the same thing. Next, second and chapati now here, right this there. is where uh, you got to move your speed. speed. Before the other one uh, cooks, right? Yeah. All right. And we'll go back to it in a second. All right. So as you can see, for this one, I didn't use the flour. Yeah. I said, as long as you get your ratios well, you're not going to need uh, the flour to run. Right. So we'll go back, back here again. to see whether it's ready to turn. Right. Oh, so wow, ready. look, we're guys. We're leopard, but it's not yet there. ready. Wow. Looks like a young leopard, right? So I'm going to make like... <laughs> I'm going to make like three chapatis with you guys. That way this doesn't take forever. Okay. And then after that, we'll this, finish. This part is ready, guys. We can eat this part, but here it's not cooked well. So let's wait. We'll turn it again. It wasn't yeah. ready for turning. Wow. Yeah. I'll leave you to just do that. Just a few part. seconds. It's not even a minute. Let me go here. So, so the final stage, I realize it's easy. It's quicker. Uh, it's okay. kind of like uh, hard. But you see? Oh. That's now almost look there. It looks like a cheetah now. Leopard. I don't mm -hmm. know. Chapatis look like cheetahs or leopards. Now you see your layers are coming up. When you see it, oh. it's behaving like that. These are your layers okay. that you created by adding flour. Okay, okay. So, guys, you saw, see for yourself. You can choose to dry this up and dry a few chapatis and then yes. cook them. Yes. That's what I normally do. Yes. Or you can choose to cook this by itself, one by one. Okay. But then this one takes a lot of time. Okay. So I don't know which one we should do. Should Let's we just do when, like this? when you are cooking a lot. Okay. So kind of like, I so that is not this. fully cooked. It's pre-cooked. So we go back. We pick up the second chapati. Also pre-cook it. Right there, guys. See, it will take less than a minute, and then she will turn it. Uh, it's still I use medium heat. And let's see what's going on back here again. Just rolling the next one as we dry up the other one. So, All right. so you can check whether the other so one is So that's our third I'm taking over. I'm going to be showing you how to roll this chapati. So this is me, guys. Watch myself. My hands are clean. Uh, a little bit burning me, but I, I messed it up a little bit. Oh, okay. So can you use a spatula? You can or use a spatula. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I don't have to use my hand. No, you don't have to use your hand. That's why you have the spatula there. That way yeah. you don't burn yourself. All right, guys. Just so it took just less than a minute. Then we flipped it. And I. So you are gonna. It has to look like a leopard before you. Leopard. Flip. A young so leopard. It's not looking like a leopard. Then it's not ready. A young leopard. 
cool. All right. And on the other side. So what happens if you had more heat? Because you wanna cook, if you're getting late for work and you wanna cook fast. Well, if you add more heat, you're gonna burn them all and they're not gonna be really cooked. They oh. will just be burnt chapatis. Oh. So it's good to make this when you have time. Okay, okay. Yeah. Guys, you had? Don't cook chapati when you are going to work, like two or three. Okay, Always so make sure you have enough time, time because it takes a while. So now you, I can see cooking oil right so there. This is the next step. Sprinkle a little bit. Just a little bit. To the young leopard. Then you spread it. As and I said, I normally what, use the brush, but I don't have time for the brush. What is leopard become? Uh, wow. See there, guys. Let me know how you cook your chapati. Then you add oil to the second part. Yeah, I know there are chefs who are watching this. Uh, guys, uh, let's know. Uh, let's know how you cook your chapatis. This is how my wife does. Oh, look at that, guys. It's ready. Now that looks like a. It's ready to be. Once eaten. that part is ready, I had another one on top. Oh, okay. So now you got two. Yeah. Then so then you apply oil, oil on, on the, the top side. one. Then and on the oil part, really, it depends on how much oil you want to use. Yes. Yeah. And now you cook both at the same time, right? Yeah. Well, the wow. first one is really cooked. This one is already cooked. Guys, the process is almost mm -hmm. over. This man. one is done, so I need to oil this like part. Like fully done? So, oh, the, that... this one is fully done. We can even eat this. So oh, if you want to wow. get a plate, we are going to eat this. Okay, wow, so guys. On the side. Chapati is ready right there. And this is second the second chapati. Let me show you. Right there. Turn it. That side is done. So this is on the other side. Hold on. Look at that. Alright. So, so since we don't want to keep them waiting. Yes. We are going to eat the chapati. So guys, uh, this is the process of chapat making. Uh, we start from the scratch. See this? With all the equipment. Yeah. And please watch this video from the beginning to the end so you can learn how to make chapati. We just made two chapatis and we we'll continue making this. more chapatis. We actually gonna eat this chapati. Wow, it's, it's really, ready. really hard. So wow. Oh. You want to give it time it's so you don't burn yourself and um, again as i said from the beginning you can make different uh types of chapatis butternut carrots some people like the yellow yellow chapatis yes. there are other stuff that you can add to make sure that it looks yellow yes uh some other people add you you can add whatever you want to the chapatis actually for the most part yes so we are going to enjoy this you can see these are our layers that we were looking for Oh, let's, let's show them. These are the layers, but it's oh. burning me. Wow, it's so hard, guys. These are the layers. This is how our chapati layers. is. So you, you got to make sure your chapati has these layers. Let's see this. Wow. It's caliente. You see, it's like a book. Oh, Just wow. open Look at a that, book. guys. One, Just open two, a book. Three. So we are going to eat this. I can tell some people came down the stairs after they heard me saying we are going to eat the chapati. So we are gonna enjoy this one. All right. I hope you guys learned. All right, okay. guys. So this chapati is ready. Um, let's eat this chapati. I will turn my camera and I will show you. Hmm. Mm. Oh my. Hmm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Great. Really man. good. Really soft. Mm. Wow. I just need my gold meat or tea now. Uh guys, um the part is all done. Um wow, it didn't take that long. We're gonna finish eating this one with you guys. Yeah, sure. Uh yeah guys, uh you can you can take a bite with us. As I bite this bite. Oh. Hmm. Let me know if I'm eating too fast. I don't wanna finish. No. Mm. So, oh, you just roll it, right? Yeah. And uh, chapati, uh, you can eat with then stew, goat stew, lamb stew, mm -hmm. uh, meat stew. You can also eat, eat it with, uh, you know, 
You can also warm it and have it for breakfast, right? Mm -hmm. With tea or coffee. Mm -hmm. Especially me, I like to wrap my chapati with coffee for breakfast. And trust me, one chapati, coffee, I can stay the whole day without eating another meal. Yeah, okay? Hmm. So yeah, so thank you guys for being uh, here with us. What? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm eating. Um... Sorry guys. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Alright guys, we're gonna end this video here. Uh thank you for watching us. Uh please subscribe to my channel, Mutua3. Please support the channel. Also my friend who left yesterday, Mara. Uh please support him as he tours the world. And let's end this video. Bye.